Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Reboot Campaign. This is episode 4. We pick it up from turn 17 in the autumn season of 197. So, uh, we ended our episode by wiping out Zhengjiang here in Chen Farmland, or Livestock Farm. And our next target is Liu Bei's armies, and they're coming for us. Uh, I don't know which direction he will take. Uh, regardless, I think the AI is going to think that army is stronger than ours. And at first we're going to level up these guys. Uh, Chen Gong here. We could do this to lock enemy abilities. He could lock their abilities and also analyze weakness. Or we can increase capture chance, which seems pretty good. And not only can we increase capture chance, we can move to or getting grid deployment for the siege weapon. And also eventually wisdom the river. His wisdom the river is on this side, uh, replaced by this and popped over. So he can have both. He can have a temporary minus 100 that lasts 30 seconds and a constant minus 20. So I think I'm going to actually give up on locking enemy abilities. I don't think it's going to matter too much. And um, capturing enemy general seems to be much better. Oh, and we definitely forgot to switch him back to general of the right to reduce his upkeep. As you can see our gold right now, 2961, 3145. All right, much better. And they're trying to also leveled up. Another 25% chance to capture enemy general, so plus 50. I think Liu Bu also have no access to patience because he's a vanguard. Yeah, vanguards don't have that ability. I think only sentinels, uh, champions, and strategists have that ability. Uh, we're still a bit far from reaching level 10. Yep, 60,000 experience away, uh, waiting to get the last two abilities unlocked here. Other than that, uh, we probably want to pop out of the city. This gives us the extra option to retreat rather than having to be forced into a fight. Uh, they have the bandit version, uh, which is terrible for us, so we got to convert it. Now, if we. So, when you convert, this will go away. Uh, instead of waiting for a turn, you can just demolish, get the 300. I think you'll cash out the same turn when that gets converted. I'm not sure about the order. If it doesn't, you can always rush it for just 150, which doesn't hurt either. Um, I'm keeping this. Let's see. Let's see. They're just waiting to farm more rebels. That rebel party we're ignoring. Ooh, Dash is in Cao Cao's faction. Did he? Okay, the Emperor's still here. It was blocked. So we're interested in killing him too. But first things first, Zhang Fei and Guo Jia. And I think we can just end turn. Uh, our spy could do more improved relationship. Right now we're plus seven. Keep talking those sweet words to dad. And he will just basically do this because it's cheaper to have him. Oh, it's actually no longer cheaper temporarily because for the next, let's see, two turns, we have this financial support from the event that Yuan Shu gave us. So we have actually minus 50% character salary. So if we send Ma Chao over, he'll be only worth 100. Uh, otherwise, he'll be worth 200. So the spy is cheaper in the long run. Let's keep him as a spy. And that's pretty much it. Let's continue. Right. We didn't uh, get ourselves into a mercenary contract, which was a mistake. We forgot about that. Uh, but Yan Bai, who is offering us one against Lady Wu, uh, we're going to pass on this. Lady Wu took over a faction after getting married into one. We're just going to reject. All right, Zhang Fei's army actually encamped in Yuan Shu's land, which is interesting. Okay, so Huang Shu, who was willing to be a turncoat, has become angry enough with Dad to leave the faction. Um, sometimes sibling rivalries uh, cause a lot of strife. Now let's see, how do we get a mercenary contract against Liu Bei? We can't, he's just friendly with everyone except for us. It's surprising too, because Yuan Shu paid him, but paid us to fight him, but didn't actually declare war on him. Hmm. I guess we could do without a contract for a while. And then after we clean up Liu Bei's forces, we'll take care of Yuan Shu. We don't have any deal with him. And I want to destroy him. So I don't mind this trespassing, I guess. Let's just attack. Uh, 
Okay, he's willing to fight. Oh, because AI think is a crushing defeat for us. That is funny. Now, Guo Jia is not dropping our ammo by too much. We still have 16 ammo. Interesting. Yeah, it's all militia army. We got this. Alrighty. Uh, we're loaded up in here. They decide to fight us in an encampment fight, which is really dumb. Um, we're just going to line them up here. We have great siege weapon. It's not raining for once, which is amazing. Uh, maybe a little bit back would be fine, too. Yeah, this is probably good. Uh, we want to be able to hit them, but we also have no rush. If they come out, we have a lot of time to hit them. Tribuches are going to be the ones starting up with the firing, taking down some of the towers. Once again, in the back to charge enemies if they come. We actually have towers this time. And we're probably going to get flanked. And just try to stop some cavalry. Alright, this is our dueling group. If Zhang Fei wants to have a piece, she's here to look pretty. Alright, let's go. Now, there's a good chance they don't come out at all. No, nope, they're coming. Fire well. Any chance you guys want to duel? Oh, Zhang Fei wants to duel. Uh, hold on, hold on. We gotta pull them away from the enemy strategist. I've seen this story too many times. Where the enemy strategists give us a wisdom of the river and then we die. Like him. Yep, Mijul. Mijul's gotta 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 make sure Mijul doesn't do that. Alright, so what will happen is that we'll run to that spot and then we'll start running towards each other. So hopefully by then. Alright, we correctly predicted the cavalry coming from the left flank. Simply because our cavalry's on the left flank. So that's where they're focusing. Alright, we gotta pull a couple over. Because these cavalries are not taking the smart route here. They actually run into. Are they actually gonna run into it? All right, John Faye is getting dragged away from his strategists. All right, our crossboats. They'll try and they'll try and they'll try and they'll try and stop them. All right, got the fight started. Oh, go go weaken them. All right, we got the cavalry engaged. Pull them off of our units. Stick on that one. Deltron comes back. We're going to have one of them go charge the Saber Militias. Oh, oh, that was so quick. I was here to take a look, but all we found is a bloody body we took his leg off it seems it seems oh no we didn't he just has a nice splatter of blood ah happened too quickly Liu Bu. gotta give us some time all right go crush them the fire will naturally start i think maybe it's already started yep because all these fire we have let's see we can crush them they're just sword they turn okay they route it for good it's time to get that flank on the enemy Range units. Rebo's coming back. Gongdu's coming back. Go pick up some experience on the routing troops. Ooh, they got spearmen that actually made it. Oh, no, they didn't make it. Ah, oops. They were close. Guojia, your turn. You're on our list. So apparently there's a bug on him. But we'll see if it works out for us. If it doesn't, we could try to fix it with a mod, or we could just not care too much about Guodia as part of our list. I don't think his bonus is that game breaking. Um, get some experience. Get some experience. Guodia, where are you going? One more hit. 
We didn't see Zhang Fei's death, but we can see Guo Jia's death. There we go. Mi Zhu. Uh, we're not we're not gonna run at the spearman. Yeah, that's fine. We won. Um, we can spare them. We can fight this army again for some more extra post battle loot. Alrighty. So we should have. Ooh, Guo Jia. Not willing to work for us yet, but he will change his mind. Okay, no one wants to work for us yet, so we'll just release all three. Oh, we did we did give him an injury. He has an injury trait. We'll take the extra income. All right, we got Zhang Fei unlocked. Yeah, Guo Jia is bugged out. That's confirmed, I guess. Um, I guess I could fix it with a mod. Um, we'll see. What is Guo Jia's actual bonus? Ooh, 5% campaign movement. That's actually quite good. Alrighty. So, I'll look into the mod. We did get Zhang Fei's Blazing Roar. Another ability unlocked. Zhao Yun, Guan Yu, and Liu Bei's on deck. Uh, we'll back out into our own territory so we can heal. Uh, trespass already happened. Doesn't really matter. Nothing else is pretty new. Um, we just got the ability, which is nice. What should we build here? We're reform locked. Uh, probably just continue building this up for extra income. Uh, we're going to focus on the balanced approach here. It's quite pricey, but we do have a bunch of money saved up. Um, it's just that after one more turn, our income is going to probably hit negative again. So there's that. Rebellion soon. At least here, soon. This one is forming, but not attacking, which is interesting. Um, we do have a few other generals. We could technically send him out, but he doesn't have anyone to help him. Yeah, we need a few more generals. How are you doing, my friend? Let's talk to Dad again. And we're now trending towards 61. Good job, Macho. And uh, we might want him to balance out the other way because, yeah, we're using more of the cover. There we go. So it's now 20 per turn, 16 per turn. Yeah, they'll both bounce back pretty nicely. And let's see, diplomacy, not much to do. Yep, we're just going to wait to fight that army. Zhang Fei will bounce back. Guo Jia will bounce back. Guo Jia will be on his last leg. Uh, he's done with his resiliency stacks. Zhang Fei has one more. So we got to make sure not to kill Guo Jia in the future. Uh, but the capture percentage chance you see with the two level up, the 50% extra, it paid off because, you know, we caught all three. Now, catching them and employing them is two different things, though. Um, but I think we're good. I'm not upgrading that farmland. Ah, there's buildings here to be built. Uh, on his last turn, okay, so this is the time we built this, and then we simply recall him and reset him. Alright, let's continue. Alright, Cao Cao is offering us one mercenary contract to fight Yang Feng. Um, nope, we're gonna pick our own. Okay, so they're trying to attack us together with a reinforcement army. Zhao Yun is stacked with Jamajian, wow. Uh, this army is a joke now. But the general, I don't want to fight them together. Because what will happen is the O-Thorn effect from the three brothers will heal each other multiple times. I'd much rather fight them separately. So we can just pull back. Alright, we pulled back. Um, they disappeared. That's totally fine. We could go crush this army real quick. Ooh, gold item. Provincial Auditor. We need to catch him, guys. We need to catch him. 
please. 50% extra from patience. We can do it. 100% capture rate. Please don't fail. Wait. Do we need to fight this and let him run away? Because what if we just kill him and the item doesn't drop? Alright, I'm going to fight this battle and then make sure he escapes. So let's start. Alrighty, so I don't want to kill him. There's there's definitely the off chance we can just straight up kill him with our siege weapons. So what we'll, I do is I'm just going to run Lu Bu up and then Blazing Roar them to make them run away. He doesn't have Unbreakable, right? Okay, he doesn't have Unbreakable. Good. Let's go. Charge. She doesn't have Unbreakable. They have very low morale because it's night battle. Look at our look at our abilities. <laughs> so many. This is the Blazing Roar. Uh, it's only one usage. 100 morale drop uh, for 15 seconds. So they do bounce back. It's not like they don't bounce back. Uh, but we can definitely just go in and uh, go crazy on them. I don't want to kill him. Whatever we do, we don't kill him. Watch this. And immediately... Everyone routes. Give them a couple of seconds. Bye. Bye. We win. That's it. That's how crazy Blazing Roar is. Alrighty, so we let him run away. Hopefully we get the capture. We do and we can execute for the provincial auditor uh, This is a gold tier item. So this is one way you can obviously farm these items We got really lucky that a rebel spawned this 10% uh, income from all sources for the administrator commandery and uh, it Also gives you a unique assignment and then the eight expertise is obviously great for administrators as well execute him here she has nothing so we're gonna just release for the money take some more money our income's down to 542 which is great because i thought we were gonna go negative again once that effect from the eventual uh financial support went away uh, got a few extra experience um if that's the case we might lower our tax rate yeah, we're still positive at this point. There's no need to trigger our towns that much. Uh, food is also not affected too much. We got this item. That's the key. John L is going to have a very nice item. Uh, we are going to take away some population growth, uh, which is fine. Can't say no to 10% income. And then the hand of the king set is if we get the three strategies of Duke of Yellow Rock. And then if this person is... So instead of being an administrator, if they are one of our... Uh, higher court positions uh, right now is just prime minister heir or faction leader But once you become emperor all the higher court positions will have this effect you get 10% corruption reduction, which is really good um, so pop this in right now and That's pretty much it. We have quite a few gold item in this run um, pretty happy about that uh, Where are the rebels here? They don't have anything. Oh, she has a silver one tycoon That's not bad, but we have better ones we have concubine and philosopher. Um, rebellion not happening now because we took away the high taxes. So I guess they can just go fight them. Get them some experience and maybe give us an item. Uh, from this group, he doesn't have patience yet. He does have patience. And you can't get patience on Vanguard. So 25% extra capture rate, not too bad. Um, we can now finish them off. This is the second. This one we can just delegate. Right, so you saw the 100% captures rate, but we killed her in the battle. So that's why I didn't want to delegate the other battle. Because then if we kill her, she might not. He, well, he might not drop the item. Gotta get that guaranteed drop. All right, so we still need to fight them. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep trespassing Yuan Shu, but I guess we're fighting them later. It doesn't really matter. We'll head down. Pick up a new reform. Uh, we have an open trade route that we haven't taken. Uh, we probably want this. 
We play. Oh, honestly, we need to reduce character salary because we're collecting quite a few good characters. But we need a temple to do that. We can also do tier five tax collection. It's pretty much what Chen is doing. Yeah, let's do that. Also, give us some extra public order elsewhere, and then eventually the six percent corruption is going to help us a lot too. So, you guys got something to build soon, and. Over here, you guys are just waiting. Yep, I think we're doing decently well. Yeah, I gotta pop that back on. Yeah, I think we're good. I'll have a few level up that we've been ignoring because I took away the notification, the investigate issue button. Um, so he's got a level. Flaming shot would be good. She leveled up. Probably just all the assignment ability. Lu Meng. Hmm. Probably eventually he'll come onto the battlefield. Let's we'll start with night battle. Alright. I think now we're pretty solid. Um, court positions, we're keeping them empty. We can invoke again. We are not allying ourselves, so let's just invoke. This one we abort. And then we issue sign someone to Grand Director. Very easy to do. Rebellion in Nanyang. We're going there to take them down. Okay, perfect. We'll get all three done very easily. Um, Grand Director. Grand Director. We could just put one person who's not very happy with us into that position. It would give us more food. Technically, we might want a commander there. We want to mix up the classes. Hmm. She's almost of age. We'll wait. We'll wait. We can just shuffle again if we, we have to do it. We can just shuffle him over. We'll wait till we finish their mission. Uh, in the in destroying them, and then we'll do it. All right, let's continue. Yuan Shu wants to sign a non-aggression pact. Ooh, how does he know we want to attack him next? Uh, reject. All right, Yuan Shu and Zhang Yan stop fighting and form a coalition. The South is a mess. His brothers are turning on him. I don't know. They need to fix that. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, we have another daughter. He was very good at giving birth to daughters. We are th uh, three now. Uh, herdsman. Okay, not that relevant. I think we can delegate a win against them. Crushing defeat. No, we can't. Then we can fight and get a win against them. Um, I'm pretty sure we can beat them. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Let's fight. All right. I don't know if they're gonna come out or not. Um, but regardless, this patch of trees will help us gap close. Um, just gonna put this down here. And that's about it. Will they come out? That's the other question. Nope, they're gonna stay put. That's probably smart. Alright, we're gonna go into the forest. So that towers can't shoot us. And... Don't really wanna run into that. So we might take this door. But I'm sure someone's guarding that door as well. But there's too many spearmen here. Right, I think we can we can we can do something like this one. Yeah, we probably want to stay out of that firing range. Just get shot by these two, it's, it's bad enough. Oh, they actually want to duel. Okay, well, well we might duel later. Oh, oh yeah, we don't have any units so the archers shoot us us. Right, let's go, go, go. Anyone have a uh, arrow blocking ability? We'll take this. Some melee evasion. Alright, see if we can kill them. We're inside! Now you guys are screwed. Now they don't want to duel. Time to roar. Smaller roars. 
We'll get rid of all the spear units with roars. Oh, did someone lose their horse? Ah, oh, damn, wait, come on. Be careful. Alright, damn, wait, you stay still and fight the spear units. The people still on their horses fight the archers and stuff. Are you having trouble, my friend? Oh, wow. Wow, he has very aggressive animations. Uh, we should probably pay attention to what's going on elsewhere. Alright, you pick on one, you pick on the other one, and we'll focus on Dian Wei for a bit. Oh, it's the hook with the Ji, the dagger part. It's okay. He's a champion. He has very big health pools. Or roar. Get them to route a little. Chase. Chase. Yeah. Let's go take them down. This one's going to be over first. He has a better weapon. Gao Shun, finish her. There we go. Oh, the item. Mm, it's fine. It's just a silver item. Get back on your horse and help Dian Wei out. I'm here, my friend. Him with the bronze sword and the gold item. Struggling. So we don't think they're stronger. It's not activating. But we're not winning. Alright. That's it. We're just waiting on this duel. Everyone else is dead. Go, go capture the flag. Oh, he can give him a boost. Melee evasion for you. <laughs> 174%. Alright, we'll try to give you a better weapon soon. This is a struggle. Damn, we're panting over here in the background. Finish him! Jesus. There we go. Ooh! Style points. All right. Good job. And that right there is the definition of camp crushers. Charge into the camp, crush them. All right, we need to get rid of the retinue entirely to get the mission finished. Uh, they didn't lose that much health, actually. Hmm. Giving him melee attack rate would make him stronger. But he does have a unique ability called Scattering Blows, which gives um, him melee splash attack. Like, oh, these are good. We can go bottom. He already got the bad traits already. Hmm. Probably this, then, if that's the case. And then we'll go for that and go for these. Drone L, drone L, drone L. Um, we'll probably get patience. He also needs zeal. He also needs this. Yeah, we'll grab this first. Yeah, it'll delay us a little bit over here, but I think it's going to be more useful in the, you know, right now for us. 
Alright, the generals are dead, so you see, that's the case where we don't get the item because we killed her in the battle. Uh, I feel like we can just finish them off with the help of the retinues. Second battle. Delegate. Yeah, they should just disappear, even if we don't kill everyone. There we go. And finishes both missions, get some public order, get some population growth from Dan Wei because he's a champion. Get some retinue upkeep discount, get some replenishment and vanguard happiness because he's a vanguard. And now we can flip flop positions real quick. We can flip Gaoshun uh, one more time. He's been hopping between these two. Now you're grand director again. And that should finish Chen Gong's mission which give us commerce income, trade influence, and strategists being happy. So we finished all the council missions, but we still need four more turns. So basically every spring when we get a new reform, we invoke one time. Um, they did a great job, and I think they can just stand and heal. It's not a big deal. Now this is very positive. Very positive. Feels like we're not going to see rebellions here anymore. Maybe they need to go over here to Chen, because I feel like here with the tax collection building, it's going to be constant rebellions. We're going to reinstall Lu Meng here, because most of the building is going to be here. I think we have military access. Yes, we do. So we're just going to ask the boys to move over to Chen. Uh, without trespassing Cao Cao's land. Okay. And we can beeline for Liu Bei's land. Because we need to fight Liu Bei's army. Uh, we're all healed, right? Yeah, we can march. Uh, I don't know. What if we just bump into an army? That could be a tragic. If we march, we can't retreat. Mm, let's play it safe. Let's not march. Okay. All these are good. We did get a horse from winning a fight. Silver white one. I think we can keep it for our daughter. Give her some more authority because she's going to be heir. Very, very soon. Both strategists. Okay. Interesting. She has a kid with us in our faction. Maybe even more kids. I don't know if she kept the, the old family tree. But she gave birth to a kid while under our faction. We need to get him on the field and get him killed soon before he hits 60 plus. That's when you start dying. The death percentage start triggering once you hit 60. Okay, that's uh, good. Let's continue. All right, Ma Teng want us to fight Zhang Ji. No, thank you. All right. Yuan Shao and Gong Sun Zhan is back at it. And Zhang Yan this time joins Yuan Shao to fight against Gong Sun Zan's forces. Oh, it's also mm, interesting, okay. So usually Zhang Yan worked on the opposite side in both of those scenarios. Worked with Gong Sun Zan to fight Yuan Shao, worked with Cao Cao to fight Yuan Shao. But here we have a very different scenario. Anyway, time to find where their armies are, peak. Ah, can we reach you? No, we can't. Come out. Come out and fight us. You have a great army. That's a great army. Alright. Pop this. That's almost done. We can honestly march. Yeah, get out of his territory. In case anything suddenly changes. Cai He, Su Fei, Gan Ning. We need to fight him as well. And also Huang Zhong. Huang Zhong's a little old, but he's hard to die. So I'm pretty confident he's going to be around. Um, Li Jue is not very happy with us. You know, with our financial backing, we could just summon him that way we at least get rid of his um, desire for uh, lack of purpose let's get rid of his retinues 
Speaking of retinues, we should probably check out Machal's retinues. Our uh, personal victory is stacked at how, wait, how high is our personal victory? 165 prestige, 33 points. Okay. You, how are you doing? Uh, we gotta check outside, but continue to improve our relationship. <laughs> that's not that's not a bad setup. Kind of like it this way. We're in no rush to fight him. If he's ever in danger, we'll know. Uh, he didn't. He it went from it went worse. He got rid of a Tel Marauder and switched to a Raider Cap. Are they? Are you guys poor? Ah, uh, that's a shame. Please get richer. Anyways, this is the highlight. Let's just, uh, I think we can just continue. Yeah, let's just continue and see if they come out to fight us. Kong Rong is asking us to fight Yuan Shao. Aren't you Liu Bei's ally? Why don't you help Liu Bei out? Why are you trying to contract us? Ah, uh, Liu Bei has bravely stepped out with his 2,600 men because he has the garrison retinue to help. But a lot of men against our feeble 387 army because we have very low end units uh, not a uh, low number unit qual quantity you know very low quantity um we could pull back a little bit just to get rid of that retinue but it doesn't really matter it's not like this is gonna do much it's all about dueling the strategy is get rid of guan yu first and then Zhao Yun, and then Liu Bei. Zhao Yun's gonna be very hard to kill with this. He's a strong duelist. We might not duel Zhao Yun. We might just hack him to death on the field, maybe with our cavalry. Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna let this influence our decision. We're just gonna fight. The, sorry, let me think. The only thing that could be in our advantage if we retreat is that we can attack them instead because they probably won't chase us right they probably won't chase us without this and then if we attack them we can night battle them and then we can drop their morale by 15 which would be really helpful yeah maybe we'll retreat okay we did retreat but we didn't really have to retreat that far um oh daughters of age tax collector got attacked uh rare talent we got a random general to join us uh lu jie qin uh, agent. A uh, useless agent. Not bad skill tree. But she's gonna randomly cost us 200. Our daughter coming of age costs us another 200. So she's fired. Oh, Tui Yan. Hmm. Cao Zhao. That's a bandit. Okay. Ding Yi. Okay. These are all pretty historical people, but um, now we can't reach them. We retreated all the way past the bridge into this corner. Can we ambush here? All right, we're going to ambush here so that we can get an aggressive attack. We can get an attack on them. That's what I want. They're here. His unhappiness should... Ooh, it went down. Pretty, oh, it's because our momentum went down. Hmm. Well, our daughter is here. She can boost everyone another plus 10. We don't have the classics of the filial piety. So there's no need for that. We can give authority horse to give some satisfaction from this. And we can definitely pick the authority sword. Maybe even Chen Gong's heavenly sword next turn next turn we'll give it to our daughter so that should ease everyone's unhappiness and we can continue to have the high satisfaction bonus right we saw all of that right so we set up the ambush here we can get rid of their march he can just also stand here, I guess. You can stand inside the capital if you want. Um, Building-wise, I think we have everything settled. Is anyone at war with you now? Nope. So no contract available. 
All right, we're just going to end turn, and then we can attack them next turn, because they're not going to see us this time. Sun Tse offered us against Zhuo Rong. Ooh, that's not a bad one, but we'll pick our own. All right, Cao Cao signs a peace deal. We're draining cash every turn, but they didn't see us. We can actually launch that sneak attack that we planned. First, we want a private workshop here. Three turns construction, good. Uh, in Trun, we'll pass on that. Yeah, rebellion's gonna happen eventually. We gotta check everything before we get that fight started. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm uh, gonna end our episode with what we came here to do. Cross some names off our list. We want the night battle, which I feel is pretty key. And uh, we're gonna start the fight. Alrighty, so we're loaded up in here. I am very certain they're going to be charging at us, and that is totally fine. Somehow we have the temple in our background. This is the Confucian temple that we're fighting at, and they don't have it behind their back. Aren't we the one sieging them? Let's take a good look at them. Very cool temple. Ooh. Okay, neat. Things you can do with a camera mod. Anyways, if we could pull our units all the way back here, that's not half bad. Fight right in front of the temple. But we're not defending the temple, we're attacking the temple. What is going on here? Um, Alright, we could literally actually pull our guys all the way back here. We don't have guerrilla deployment, which sucks. Oh, it's, is that beyond the edge of the map? Is Oh, they don't let you... Okay, so we, we scratched that plan. Because we do have guerrilla deployment here and we are not allowed to be next to the temple. We're, we can be here, but we can't get on the temple. Oh, that's that's a wasted opportunity. Okay, anyways. So if that's the case, we'll fight just at here. Uh, we will fight in front of this rock. We don't want to block our shots. Don't like these bushes. They're going to catch on fire. Hmm... How do we not catch the bushes on fire? We could also fight in an open plane. That way we don't burn ourselves accidentally. Yeah, let's do this then. Um, I have no idea where their cavalry is coming from. They don't have that many cavalry. We'll just try to guard this part. Same idea, but you know, these guys aren't the star of the show. The star of the show is Lu Bu. Let's hide two here if we can. Uh, let's call these four. Can we hide them? Yeah, perfect. And then we'll keep these on the open on this side. All right, you guys are out on a mission. You will hold down the fort. Let's go. Spread them out. Let's go. Zhang, uh, Guan Yu. Guan Yu is the one we want to duel first. Now we know for a fact. Oh, they don't want to duel. That changes our game. Okay. Then we're going to throw a little poison daggers because we haven't had a chance to use these yet. If we get in trouble, we can bail out with Blazing Roar. Seriously? Don't want to duel? Can we look at you guys? Don't move so I can throw the dagger perfectly at you. Guan Yu, Guan Yu, Guan Yu. That's who we want to throw the dagger at. Uh, it's not the best terrain to throw the dagger. Oh? Oh? This is the retinue from the town. Can we smash? Oh, can we not get hit ourselves? Right, they shattered before we smash them. So they do have cavalry from the garrison in the temple. Right, we don't want them to go near our units, so we're going to go fight them. With the recovery, it doesn't really matter. 
We just don't lose our horse. Stay away from enemy spirit. Yeah, we'll keep them here. And let our tribuchet go to town. Maybe it was just a distraction. Oh, there we go. A sep. Chenggong, can you get here? Uh, it's too dangerous for him. We have to just solo it. This this is not a guarantee, guys. God of War versus Tribu. Oh, he took huge chunk of damage from that. Oh, it's oh wow. Okay, we're OP. Never mind. Oh, there's angry Liu Bei. Angry Zhao Yun. That's what we expected. Okay, Spirit Infantry is the one we don't want. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll run after the archers to get out of this mess. I don't want to fight them. We'll let them calm down a little bit. Then Zhao Yun's next. We might just throw daggers at him to kill him. And then Liu Bei will be extra angry. And then we'll defeat Liu Bei with our armed forces. So what happens when you recruit all militias, you know? Don't you haven't you heard they nerfed the uh, morale? That's a good time to pound the ground. There we go. Alright, we need to keep drawing around. Let's get a whack on him when he's not focusing on us. There we go. Just one. Just a little tap. Ooh, these guys have charge resistance stuff. Ooh, we don't want this. We're afraid to actually do Zhao Yun. Can we throw a dagger at him at this range? Let's see if we can hit him. Don't miss, Liu Bu. Don't miss, don't miss. Throw the dagger, throw the dagger. Yes! I think we poisoned him. Yes, okay, good. 10k in 15 seconds. Alright, we're not actually charging Jai yet. That symbol is deceptive. They do knock you off horses. Oh, look at his health tank. That poison going to work. We have more. We have two more. I get a whack. Take him down. Oh, he's running. Uh, too many units. Too many spear and Jai Jian around. We'll, we'll loop around to catch him. There we go. They're all routing, so they're not going to knock us off our horse. Zhao Yun, come back! Not done with you yet. Take a swing. Uh, whoa, that's a smart move. Bump himself into the horse to... Get us to... <laughs> Alright, one more hit should do it. <laughs> the red hair is like, what are these trees? Swing! Now it's your... Swing! Are you serious? You have to charge straight on at him to do swing? There we go. Liu Bei, angry again? Oh, they're actually approaching our line. We might actually run out of ammo. We will come back. We need you to distract them. We got fatigue immunity now. Joanne's gone. So in the future, we won't be tired. We can just keep running. Liu Bei, we're here. Oh, wow. They're not, yeah, they're not reaching us. What are we talking about? All right, Liu, Liu Bei, let's throw a dagger at you as well. He doesn't have unbreakable. We can just roar him to death too. Yeah, don't move, don't move, don't move. Stay right there. All right, we got him. Poison. Whack. Enemy approaching art. What are you guys doing? Don't let them. All right, Liu Bei, you're not going. And uh, our recovery made sure we're still at full health. It's ridiculous. I don't know if we actually took damage in this fight. We took some damage fighting Guan Yu. But then I think we healed that up after the duel. How much health? 3k. Hold on. Oh! 
I was going to throw another dagger, but... But we got him. He has a very nice... Very nice pose at the end. Where's the other one? He should have a pair. Anyways. Alrighty. That's a nice heroic victory. And coincidentally, we become a duke. That's enough prestige gain from not only the temple capture, but also probably the victory as well. Uh, so none of them want to work with us, I bet. Yep. Uh, and executing them would yield us the blue blade, the green dragon crescent blade, and the shuang gu jian. But we spared Zhang Fei already. So we're still going to stick to our original plan. We're sparing everyone. Even though you guys probably understand that if we had executed everyone, we would have gotten a load of weapons from Liu Bei. But we're just happy beating them down. Show dominance and then show mercy. We'll occupy. Become a duke. And uh, get paid for becoming a duke. And we got Zhao Yun, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei from the Five Tiger. Ma Chao is in our pocket. And Huang Zhong is someone we had to go look for. And then we get discipline, which is not that relevant. Yeah, we got both of them checked, so they happened twice. Liu Bei is now checkmarked as well. Extra prestige from Liu Bei, probably. And satisfaction, I think. So, let's uh, take a look. Um, this is done. Three Kingdom. Sun Ce is the only one missing. And then we get prestige gain. Yeah, we've got 25 prestige, 5 satisfaction, which is great. Swarm Brothers checked out. We got immune to fear and terror. 25% uh, melee armor piercing damage, uh, which will only make us stronger. And Blazing Roar, you guys already seen in action. We're going to wait till his brothers and sisters come of age to take them down. Uh, one bandit down. Zhang Yan seems to be doing okay now that he's allies with uh, Yuan Shao. We might need to go find him. Stock is useful because if we're hidden, then we can line up a shot of Poison Blade without the enemy moving. And then we can guarantee the hit. And if we get all three, this obviously is good for money because, you know, our... Uh, tax income is pretty bad. Uh, we also can get guerrilla deployment on Lubu and everyone else so that Lubu can just find a good place on the battlefield to start. Xu Chu, we do want to beat. Where is he? Uh, we don't know. Oh, wait, he's in Yuan. Does this mean he's in Yuan Shu's faction? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, no one relevant. Yuan Shu, Yuan Shu, where are you? Do we need to send a spy to him to find out? We could... Hmm. We'll think about this in the next episode. But it seems to be they're suggesting that... Because you can search for them. Right? It's suggesting Yuan Shu. Okay, so fighting Yuan Shu has the added bonus of being able to fight Xu Chu to get this 25% uh, general health. Uh, these, we have him in our pocket. We need to wait till Cao Cao have these guys. Although he's in Kong Rong's faction. He's probably in Yuan Shao's faction. Yang Feng, that's my guess. Uh, we have a good eye on him. He's still alive. He's still alive. They haven't appeared yet. Guo Jia, we need to get a Ma to fix. Uh, and... Zhou Yu is down here with um, Sun Ce already. <laughs> These two fellows. Uh, we might backstab Liu Bao soon. We need to find a commandery, give him a, a administrative role, and then kill him. And then we know he's with Cao Cao. Who did you join? Did you join the bandits? He might have joined the bandits. Huang Zhong is with uh, Liu Bao. Oh, Gan Ning. Zhou Tai is on the map. With the north. He went Gong Sun Zan, maybe. Feels like Gong Sun Zan's territory. He's all the way out west. 
He's with Liu Biao. We know that. He's with Sun Ce. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna work on Yuan Shu next. So far, we only lost one to the AI. Not bad. And uh, we already got what's very important. We got the fatigue immunity plus recovery. I feel like we're there's no way uh, Liu Bu dies if we don't lose a horse. Losing the horse might be one thing that get us killed. But if we don't get knocked off our horse, being fatigue immune, we can outrun everyone forever. And having recovery means we can constantly heal. Pretty mean. Pretty much means we're undefeatable on the battlefield. Uh, we're gonna wipe out some more of Liu Bei's army. I want the Dong Iron Mine because eventually I want Dong. Dong is a pretty good commander for us. Um, but we'll beat him down to the point where he will give us a peace deal. We don't want to be the one to wipe out his faction. We want someone else to wipe him out so that some of his generals might, you know, think fondly back to the time when we spare them after defeating them in battle so that they can join us one day. Uh, but our attention is going to turn very quickly onto Yuan Shu as we want to get a mercenary contract against him. He is fighting a lot of factions. Maybe we can get into a better relationship with Sun Ce by fighting Yuan Shu and then we can uh, take down him and potentially Xu Chu. It seems to suggest that Xu Chu is in his faction. So, see you guys next time. Bye!